what if I told you the Mustang next to me here runs nines in the quarter mile, is driven to and from the track, and is also driven around the street on a normal basis? Well, believe it. Some of you might know the Mustang next to me. It's called Biting the Bullet. It's one of our Stain TV project vehicles. It started as an inline six completely stock coupe, and we've evolved it into a fully built street strip monster. It's got a dart based 427 Windsor with the Novi 2500 supercharger. And recently we took it to JEP Auto Works to get the body completely redone, get it nice and shiny so it looks as good as it performs. With that conversion, we decided to switch from our blow through carburetor setup to the fast XFI Sportsman. What we really like about the XFI Sportsman is it's extremely easy to install. Like an easy EFI 2.0 system, completely pre made harness, and also it's simplified, so tuning is a breeze. Fast created the XFI Sportsman as a gap filler between the Easy FI 2.0 and the XFI 2.0. It has about 80% of the functionality as an XFI 2.0, including the self tuning function found in both the Easy FI and the XFI. It will support up to a single stage of wet nitrous, five bars of boost, and even naturally aspirated combinations. One aspect of the XFI Sportsman that we really like is the pre made harness that's very similar to the Easy EFI 2.0 harness. So you have that system already, it's very easy to upgrade, especially since the computer is the exact same footprint. The kit also includes a fuel pressure sensor and wideband O2 sensor. The only additional sensors you need is a MAP sensor, air intake temp sensor, coolant temp sensor, TPS sensor, and idle air control valve. Now for the induction side of this, you can do a wide range of things, including a standard multi-port intake, all the way up to an elbow with a throttle body on it, an easy EFI 2.0, or like what we're doing is using their square bore, four barrel, fast throttle body. Now we went with the fast four barrel throttle body here, added a one inch spacer, which really allowed us to convert over from carbureted without having to change the plumbing on our supercharger system. Fast also includes a harness that uses LS style injectors, but also includes the mini timer adapters for those guys that are using Ford applications. Another great feature of the Sportsman XFI is it utilizes this CAN bus technology that allows it to hook up to any other fast product, including the Easy LS, the XIM, or like in our instance, the Easy TCU. Another upgrade is Fast E Dash, which displays a wide range of sensors, including TPS, wideband, boost, coolant, and air intake temps. I'm gonna walk you through the Sportsman XFI system here. Now, starting with the harness like we talked about before, very similar to the Easy EFI 2.0 harness. The harness is all pre-made. We actually have most of it tucked back into the firewall, and really the only thing that's out here is the multi-part harness side. Since this was a blow-through carbureted combination, for ease of installation, we went with fast 4150 style throttle body, which flows a ton of air. With that, we had to use a bonnet spacer here so the throttle linkage would clear the power hat that we have for this, though we still had to mill it down just a little bit. Inside the spacer, you can see we put our intake air temp sensor, and also with this throttle body, TPS and the IAC are already integrated into it. Up front here on the manifold, we have a coolant temp sensor, and since this is a Ford, we had to get their adapter plugs for Ford style injectors. The harness normally comes equipped with LS style plugs, but it's just a plug and play, and the injectors are all lined up just fine. Up front here, we added a fast fuel pressure regulator, and also is their inline fuel pressure sensor. Inside the car, we reuse a MAP sensor that we had on the MSD 7531 ignition system. That now goes directly to the FAST, and the FAST tells the MSD one to fire. So the MSD has been zeroed out completely, and the FAST will control all the ignition functions. Outside of that, it's just a few more wires, like tack, power, ground, and it's just ready to fire up. As you can see, we got our Mustang up and running, been tuned by Westec, everything's good to go. Basically, when we got started with the tune, we went into Setup Wizard, put in the critical things like engine size, fuel injectors, fuel pressure, map sensor. From there, you have a tune that will get the car started, but you still need to go to a qualified tuner to get the wide open throttle and the partial throttle and even the idle stuff taken care of. Even if you can get the wide open throttle and the idle stuff good, basically from there, the partial throttle can be adjusted on the fly with the closed loop correction of the XFI Sportsman. Meaning as long as your Lambda targets are where you need them to be, the computer will constantly adjust the tune on the fly to get those Lambda targets dialed in as best as possible.
Quest Tech, we were able to make 824 horsepower and a calculated 710 pound-feet of torque. Now the torque is calculated since the multiplication of the torque converter is not taken into effect on the Superflow Dyno at West Tech. For those of you that need a full standalone without all the complexity, take a look at the XFI Sportsman.